so now we would be seeing the demo for our production module for the manufacturing industry so this starts from our production sheet where we have the sheet where you would be doing your production planning against your sales orders so whatever we would be showing you is now just a concept on how things can work inside google sheets how the data flow how the user experience would be in google sheets and we can totally customize this sheet for clients as per their business needs so if you want to simplify the flow or you want to just have a part of it or have just want a simple form and sheets to be rolled out so i would be showing you the longest flow what we have which can be working for you know if you want a detailed production module you can always simplify this module whatever you need uh, for your requirements so firstly in this flow we have uh, this is the production planning interface where you select the sales order so as we have seen in our earlier videos in the procurement videos where we are creating the sales order in the respective module so from there the drop down is being auto fetch and now it auto fetches the client name and when i click on the product name so in the bill of material i have already defined what all sub assembly and how much quantity i have to build like one drawer is to be built for this particular finished good if in your case sub assemblies are not needed these would be removed in your case we have auto fetch the processes as well like for cutting bending assembly what all the processes are applicable for this so for each sub assembly as well you can select the process if that is needed for your business so now for each process now we can allocate a, uh, a machine so whatever we want to uh, allocate for this uh, like maybe for this we select this for assembly if we do not want to allocate a machine we can leave it so like this process wise uh, we can allocate machine it auto fetches the quantity which we have for the sales order product we can allocate our operators or manpower for this particular uh, different processes so for this this is the manpower for this this is the manpower so for this process we are allocating or machine wise we are allocating the manpower now there are two smart inputs which the system can provide you if you can provide two type of masters so one is related to time and one is related to capacity so we would see in this our capacity master where you would define your machine wise product wise what is the per day capacity of production example on this machine for door to do the cutting we can do 1000 quantity per day this is the capacity so like this for each product machine wise we can if we can define the capacity so during our production planning whatever dates we select let's say i am selecting so currently now you can see that uh, available quantity it is showing that total planned days it is by default taking one per day capacity is 100 so 100 capacity and available is 100 because we have not yet selected a date so let's say i select a back dated entry of uh, 2nd december to 5th december so now you can see automatically 173 quantity and 123 quantity is allocated between these days on this respective machines so this is showing the machine wise allocations and you can see this in detail over here so for 2nd to 5th for order number 6 comins india cupboard we are using the cnc machine for 100 then for order 4 cnc we are using 23 like this you can see the segregation of your existing allocation and we can see the available quantity which is there available which we can allocate over here like in this case 100 is there so per day capacity is 100 for four days if we are dividing then total days capacity is 400 out of which uh, this is the available capacity if you have this master for capacity this can be done or else if you want to simplify this we can not uh, Uh, show this feature in your production sheet and we have a cycle time feature so if you can provide cycle times for your product wise machine wise how much time is needed to manufacture one finished goods like 500 seconds is needed to cut door on this machine so automatically we will show you how much time is needed like for this 100 quantity of cupboard 167 minutes is needed for all these processes all this machine because cycle time we have already defined so these two machines we are going to use this is the quantity so it shows that total 10000 seconds which is 167 minutes 2.78 hours or if your 12 hour shift is there then 0.23 shift is needed so like this these inputs can be got or else if you want to keep it simple then just enter the order product quantity click on submit so now we will segregate your processes and create a dynamic job cards for your shop floor so this is a very easy simple way to take entries directly from the shop floor you are uh, let's say a production manager you click on submit and create a production order now we have created process wise job cards so like this you can see below we have cutting we have bending we have fg different processes 
and now to share this to the operator we will create a separate link for this so now i am creating a separate link for this cutting process job card so this link i can uh, keep this link as a qr code as well on my machine so all the machines which are doing cutting i can just lay, uh, put create a qr code of this link and attach it so on opening of the scanning of the qr code this job card would be automatically opening this is not a google sheet now this is an html page which only shows data which is in uh, cutting process and this is dynamic so by dynamic now we will see that 100 quantity sales order for this uh, cummins india cupboard and now we want to do the production so there is a button over here when i click on this button a very simple pre-filled google form opens up with order number process sub process everything is pre-filled only thing the supervisor or operator how your manufacturing production software works that person can simply just select the variables like machine name the operator name the shift the quantity produced like 50 quantities produced rejection was uh, like five was rejection three was wastage start date start time end date end time a simple form which you can customize as per your needs via shop floor you can capture this data very easily because this data is dynamically populating from the main production sheet well let's say you enter a new order with highest priority so that order would be shown on the top for the production people and the production person would just see the order do the production entry as you can see if i did an entry of 20 quantity it will automatically reflect like this the 20 quantity is done and sales order quantity was 23 so now only three is remaining so like that a job card can be created you uh, and uh, you can have this buttons also created so for this we can create buttons like this on the portal so this portal which we are going with it can we can create a centralized app like portal so on your mobile phones you can create these buttons on the app just click the cutting and it will open the cutting job card so like this different dynamic job cards can be created for all your major main main processes so with this production button we are capturing the data and if you have cycle time we can get projection as well that uh, what is the required time as per cycle time or required time in day start date as per your plan date so what is the plan end date by system so previous plan end date is next start date so like this you can see how much days uh, your current allocations will take so you can commit the next order as per these uh, allocations over here and we can also set a short close on approval system like let's say supervisor like operator does the entry of 100 quantity now quality person or supervisor will check that okay this is approved that this 100 quantity entry of operator is approved and when he clicks on submit then only it will be removed from job card or if you want automatic we can have it automatic as well if actual production is equal to the sales order quantity then this entry would be automatically removed and now we will show you how the reports would look so we have a very good report structure where you can track your entire order wise process wise production this is the format of the report where you have firstly the order number so order number six there is rahil metal this is the product name this is the product quantity and these are some statistics which you would be seeing later so now let's say for now we hide this so what you will get is order wise how much was the order quantity against that your each process and how much quantity is done in that process so in your case there might be some processes which are outsourced so let's say you do cutting in-house but bending uh, bending is done outsourced so what you will do is uh, usually you might be sending chalans so we also have a chalan which you can directly create in our system so a job work chalan is here where again the same concept as our procurement modules where there is an interface like this chalan number is auto created you can select your vendor name from the vendor master from where you get the uh, product process you can have many customized columns you can reference an order number as well so order number wise it will auto fetch the products if it is products or if you are sending raw materials that raw materials you can manually select as well so whatever you are sending you just select it you select the quantity uh, out quantity the unit hsn if it is there in the item master it will auto fetch when you click on save a chalan pdf is created like this in the database the chalan number chalan date client name for or vendor name amount pdf so like this a chalan is created which you can directly print and physically attach with your materials when you are sending so like this a chalan is created what items what quantity you are being sending and you have a report of all the open chalan materials meaning when you create a chalan and send something to vendor so how much you are getting back that track is very important so that is being shown in this report that chalan wise this vendor 
we have sent this particular item 105 quantity he has only sent 100 back so five is still due with him so you can track all this and whatever we receive back we will automatically show that that thing is processed so in our production report where we would be uh, showing you the production tracking report in that in house plus outsource both production processes are being tracked in this single report as you can see if cutting entry is done in house in our cutting sheet the quantity is updated and that quantity is such a simple entry without any login nothing just a simple link you can create a qr code or just add this link to a portal app like button so this is a centralized portal which we provide to you where you can create we will create buttons for your all your processes they just click the button and the dynamic job card opens up in this job card they are showing you like priority wise we are showing you the orders we are showing you how much product production is done and how much is spending for this process for this specific process it is being shown where you can click on production a very straightforward simple google form just enter the values so we can add validations that uh, only numbers are accepted and everything we can do to make sure the data entry is accurate so with this simple entry from the shop floor this report is automatically created and let's say we created a job work challenge and do, did the inward entry of that processed item automatically that quantity will also be reflected over here so you can exactly track order wise that on which process is your production stuck for now like in our previous videos we had a centralized master procurement report where you would able to track pro, uh, the procurement status of each module po grn issue same way this is our main report for production order wise where you can track process wise how much quantities chalan is done or in house is there then how much production is done and let's say you want to manage your inventories as well so uh, there are some scenarios where uh, clients want that when they enter the daily production entry you want to automatically reduce the raw material stock needed for that item as per the b1 so for that this is how we have a sheet for a, a client let's say what we do is there is a, a daily production let's say so we'll clear the data first so now in this a batch number is auto created what we do is select the batch date now we have our finished products in the drop down when i select a finished product now this is auto fetch the raw material needed for one fg is being auto fetch so for that we will create a bill of material so you can see our previous videos for bill of material in our procurement phase one and now we enter the number of batches let's say five batches are being done so for one fg it is 0 0.55 for five it multiplies by five and shows that this is the consumption quantity of raw material so with the production entry the fg stock is also auto created so this quantity will uh, be added in stock and these all raw material consumption will be reduced from our raw material inventory so this is how we can automate it we can calculate wastage as well so the actual production entries or actual raw material consumption versus the automated bom wise con uh, consumption we can track the wastage per for wastage percentage of each product that this product expected was this as per bm actual is this so this is the wastage so like this we can have daily production sheet to automatically reduce your raw material so uh, rm is reduced and fg uh, production is uh, added in this particular uh, module and now we can also show you a summary of your entire procurement and production as well in this report so let's say a uh, manager wants that whatever is happening in the factory today we want a summarized report so on this date so this is a filtered report for this date like this you will get every day a report that on this date what all grn were done what all issues of material were done what all finished products are produced how much quantity what all po's were raised everything would be summarized from all different modules and a pdf would be sent to the manager that this is the report of today this is the summary what all things happened in our factory and while production planning we also have this feature of a gantt chart which can show you like order wise you can have a timeline view like uh, what all orders you have placed like order six second to fifth covered 100 quantity you can see order number four on fourth it is being there four to fourth december 23 quantity so you can see the overlapping like from fifth once this is finished we are starting the next order order number one fifth to 11 so like this you can track your entire uh, production planning as well and with this we can give you all types of analysis so let's say you want to do analysis of your production so planned versus actual production we can have your rejection percentage like on 20th of july 20 quantity was produced 
and 14 was rejected. So it is 70% rejection on 20th of July. So day on day rejection percentage, same can be converted into monthly reports as well. So these are monthly, month wise rejection, month wise operator wise production, operator wise shift. And if you want operator pay to be auto calculated based upon like two type of pays are there mostly in operators like uh, either it is paid on per day basis or in some cases it depends upon the number of quantity production the operator is doing. So we can create automated reports like this for operator pay. We can have mini graphs created like this or we can have a dedicated dashboard created for your production data. So it can be a complete graphical analysis dashboard of your production like uh, we can show you this one. Uh, month on month, what is the production quantity? So month wise production quantity is coming in green. We can show you operator wise rejections. So operator wise who is having the most rejection quantity machine wise rejection quantities. We can have uh, planned versus actual. So dark blue is the planned and actual is the light blue. So like this we can create any type of customized uh, report dashboards as well. Whatever you need for your production data. We can have automated uh, inventory management. We can have chalans created automated PDA for WhatsApp integration as well as possible. So like this we have a complete production system and after that even if you need a pre dispatch inspection report. So we have that as well. See a PDF is created for all your uh, PDIR report the main FG production quality check which is done. So parameter wise you can uh, create a pre dispatch inspection report. We also have a machine maintenance module. So for now we won't cover the machine maintenance model, but we have that and we can uh, cover that in a separate video. Uh, so basically this is how you can manage all your production in uh, in our production sheet where dynamic job cards are created and now you can even create instead of process wise job cards, you can create machine wise job cards or operator wise job cards as well. So anyhow you want to create job cards, we can do it and the concept remains same that there is a uh, HTML page created where orders are being coming automatically you do the production and in some cases let's say you are not make to order company you do batch production. So instead of selecting order and client you directly select a plan ID that on this plan this much quantity we have planned. So for that also this same concept fulfill where instead of order number it acts like a plan ID number and again as per plan what is the production happening. Or you can instead of planning as well, you can directly capture the production entries as well if you want to simplify the process more. So this is the concept on how you can manage the data in a very simple straightforward way inside Google Sheets and create dynamic reports and Google Forms and Sheets is the simplest tool which you can uh, find to capture the data and to customize module because in production always customizations are needed Google Sheets is the best solution compared to any other system or any software. This is the most flexible and quick option to customize it at a one time cost. So this is what we can provide you in production. We are working with almost a lot of manufacturers throughout India and outside India as well for product production procurement. So we have knowledge about the manufacturing industry on what their software needs are and how the interlinking is needed. So you can contact us and we can move ahead. Thank you.